I've been to all 50 states, over 170 cities. I've logged over 17 million foot miles just in the first three seasons of Taste of America alone. Look at these shoes. No tread left. I gotta go first class everywhere I go. You know how hard that is? Those mimosas don't drink themselves. Oh, great, I'm starving. Alaska, one of the most beautiful states in the Union. Everywhere you look naturally. Ow! 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 Damn it! Pipeline! Welcome to Windy City After Dark. I am Mark DiCarlo, and we are celebrating the career of Windy City Live's fearless leader, the lovely and talented Marlene Seelip. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome, Marlene. Now, uh, normally, uh, for, for your final segment, we wanted to have you out here front and center. Normally, Marlene sits back in the control room, and she talks to us on our ears via these little IFB things. So she can say, go to commercial, go to whatever. I thought I could do a little impression of you uh, of what it sounds like when we're trying to talk to guests and Marlene's talking to our ear. It goes something like this. So Ryan, I was just thinking, Ryan... Um, so it's a much more challenging gig than it looks like. Uh, now, as we've learned today, one thing is for sure, there will never be another Marlene Seelip. Oh, that's very nice. Yes. Which is why the staff's walking around with a little extra bounce in their step today. <laughs> Since you started the show, you've lost a considerable amount of weight, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, you went through a bunch of different diets, uh, fasting, you were eating a juice cleanse for a while, which made her incredibly cranky, but <laughs> she eventually settled on what she calls the modified paleo diet, which is uh, no beef, no chicken, just intern. <laughs> which is good. No, it's good because they're very low in carb and, the, and their blood keeps her young. Look how beautiful she looks. As you know, if you saw the USA Today, the world is ending with a giant earthquake in less than 24 hours, and I'm here waiting for the hovercraft and helicopters to bring Chicagoans to safety. Hey, Mark, look, up, look over your right shoulder. There is a guy running over your right shoulder. He's running in panic, Ryan. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's going very fast. Why don't you go warn him, Mark? You need he's to mildly him. panicked. I, I saw you. <laughs> mildly panicked. Mark, are, are they panicking at all? Do you think they're panicking? I think they're hysterical, Ryan. <laughs> you even got the glasses on, so you mean business today. It's a serious day, Ryan. Make fun if you like, but you won't be laughing less than 24 hours from now. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Elevator Talk Show. Have a seat. Where are you headed? Well, I'm heading in the 24th floor. Okay, have a seat. Okay, great. Super. Where are you from? I'm from Germany, Cologne. What's your favorite thing about Chicago? My favorite thing is the shopping on North Michigan. You know what? It'll be cool. Step outside and then kind of walk in as if you're like a runway model. And model it German style. Because I've only seen fashion shows here in America. Show me how a German male model would do it. like about history and learning about history about other people. Well, I don't know where you guys live, but where I'm from, Chicago, it's a very old city. It's almost 300 years old. Lots of history. I don't know if you guys here in Athens can just bear with that. Athens is a city with a history over 2,000 years. Get out of here! What? Seriously? Uh, yeah. I started off as a magician and I thought it'd be fun if I could do a magic trick for you. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to have you pick a card. I'm sorry. Um, wow. It's a really good movie. Thanks. And it's very funny. Thank you. Thank you. That was all fake. <laughs> This is Economical Eco. According to Allegra, there are ways to do that without breaking the bank and without forcing me to live like a granola-eating, tree-hugging hippie. We'll see. Frankly, I'm skeptical. Good thing I'm accredited. 
They made a deal with the city of Portland, Oregon 10 years ago, and they used reclaimed methane to power their plant. Methane comes from cows. Natural gas is a fossil fuel. Methane is, uh, there's really no way to say it, it's cow gas. And what Malarkey does is they capture that energy, they use it to run their plant. 80% of the energy that they use to make these roofing tiles comes from the butts of cows. All right, we are here with the champions today, the husband and wife team of Rich and Carlene. Correct? Yes, correct. Rich and Carlene Lefevre. Rich ate 15 and a half corny dogs. Carlene only 14 and a half. Do you got do this kind of stuff at home on your spare oh, no, time? No, no, this no. is it, only? Never. 80% of the time, we are health freaks. Honestly. You're Otherwise, I'd weigh 400 pounds. No kidding. Yes, and have, I don't want you to. You have to talk directly into that. Oh. <laughs> so that we can hear you, yeah. Oh. Well, I am no, wearing underwear, is... but I do have purple underwear. I just don't have it on because I'm going to wear it tomorrow to the brunch. You're going to brunch in your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here today? How do you celebrate Memorial Day? With, with family, family. Memorial Day is family. Please don't do a close-up. Memorial Day is family. <laughs> Please don't do a close-up. You got back up. Hold on, Colin. Back way up. You stay, she looks, stay over she, there. She All looks right. like she's Stick ready for here. Men Let's... in Black 3, Mark. She's got the shades on. She's, she's behind you. Stick your head out. Stick your head out. Yeah, so why why is it important? <laughs> just, just stick it's your head out. It's very important to me because it means family, it means love, it means coming together. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we got, we got a line of people that are all thrilled. I think this is always the unofficial beginning of summer here in Chicago. Yes, it is. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great weekend. We're gonna be giving away gas here all hour long. <laughs> all right, Thanks. sounds good. I got a heckler. Yes, I'm I am the deep over here airport. I want you to know I'm retired. <laughs> All right. I think we have more than gas here now. We'll see you later. Have a great weekend. What's she saying? I don't know. You gotta love live television.